Good day, I am Nurse Jericho Javier from Australian University, Philippines. The second procedure is the Leopold's maneuver. Before we discuss the procedure, we must discuss first the purpose. The purpose is the method of palpations to determine the presentation and the position of the fetus and aid in location of the fetal heart sound. Second is assessment. Assess for the following, client's age of gestation and the urinary bladder fullness. Third is planning. First plan is to be able to identify the fetal presentation, either cephalic, breech, or transverse presentation. Second plan is gather all necessary material. First material is the bed, second is pillow, and the third is top lining. So let's proceed to the procedure. Identifying the correct patient. Make sure you use the two patient identifier, which is the name and the birthday. Introduce yourself and state the purpose of the intervention. Hi, I'm Nurse Jerk Javier and I will be your nurse from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. The doctor's order is to perform the Leopold's maneuver to determine the presentation and the position of the fetus and aid in the location of the fetal heart sound. Perform hand hygiene before touching the patient. Assist the client to lie on bed on a dorsal recumbent position. Woman lie on her back with her shoulder raised and slightly on a pillow and her knees draw up a little. Expose the part to be examined, keeping a cover on the other parts. First maneuver is the fundal grip. Face the client's head. Using both hands, palpate the fundal area. Expect to palpate a soft, irregular mass in the upper quadrant of the maternal abdomen. This determines the shape size, mobility, and consistent of what he or she feels. The limbs and shoulders contain little bones processes that move with the fetus trunk. The head is firm, hard, round, and moves separately from the trunk. And the buttocks is symmetric and feels soft. The second maneuver is the umbilical grip. While still facing the patient, move hands to the lateral sides of the abdomen. Perform this maneuver by placing the right hand on one side of the patient's abdomen while using the left hand to explore the women's uterus on the right side. Repeat this step on the opposite side using the opposite hand. The fetal back is smooth and firm. The extremities of the fetus should feel like protrusions and small regularities. The third maneuver is the Paulix grip. Move hands down to the lower pelvic area, palpate the area just above the symphysis pubis to determine the presenting part. Grab the presenting part with the thumb and fingers of the right hand. This step of the process identifies the part of the fetus that is above the inlet. The port maneuver is the pelvic grip. Face the client's feet, place hands on the abdomen and point fingers toward the mother's feet. Gently move the fingers on both hands towards the pubis by sliding the hands over the sides of the patient's uterus. The sides where the greatest resistance to the descending fingers is the location of the brow. Assist the clients to get out from bed. Wash your hand after the procedure. Record your findings on the client's record and report your findings to your clinical instructor and to the attending physician.